Well, just like Detroit Lions general manager Brad Holmes, man, Detroit Lions syndicate does not sleep trying to get you all the latest Detroit Lions information. And this one right here, I feel like I need to talk about this one, too, because just like James Houston before, Chase Lucas has been waived. According to Mike Garofalo says Lions are waiving cornerback Chase Lucas sources say Detroit seventh round pick a year ago closed the preseason with this diving interception versus the Panthers the other night. And we are watching it right there. Now, I know we're not supposed to get attached to players, but come on, y'all. That's what we do is what we do. It's almost like I know they can't they get the choice to leave. But as fans, we don't. Right. Now, Chase Lucas, his attitude was infectious and it's hard to let infectious attitudes go. But that just tells you how or how much better our secondary has has gotten last year. Chase Lucas made the team. He made the 53 man roster. Now he has been waived from the Detroit Lions uh, squad. And the, the reason that I wanted to talk about this, too, is because this could be the beginning of the tipping point for Brad Holmes right now. All of his draft picks are currently on the team. Every pick from every round and every draft, all three are still on the team until now. Now, again, I won't officially count this unless if he makes the practice squad. If he makes the practice squad, it still counts as making the team uh, in one way or another, right? If he doesn't make the practice squad, then I thought if he Melifonwu would be the first person cut and, and not to make the team that Chase Lucas could be that guy. Chase Lucas, and and this is this is why I say that you can't believe anything the coach and GM say. And this is to me why I take my job, what I do here on YouTube, and yes, I look at it as a job. I take it so seriously. I'm not saying that I know better than Dan Campbell. I'm not saying that he that I, I I'm in, inside the building. I'm not right. You you know that. But what I'm here to do is tell you, Dan Campbell is going to use coach speak. I'm going to use. Real talk, like you got coach speak versus real talk. GM speak, Brad Holmes did the same thing. Jeff Okuda, uh, he's like, he's, it's in his rookie year, trade it. DeAndre Swift, same thing, trade it, right? They're going to say the right things. I don't have to do that, meaning I'm going to tell you what I think I see. And Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell said just yesterday or whatever day it was, how much he was impressed with Chase Lucas. And we know that those tough cuts are going to come, but he does everything right. And all that stuff is coach speak is yeah, you can do everything right, but you still not going to make the team. So chase Lucas, man, he was solid. I mean, I thought he defied, defied all odds making the team last year, being able to be a seventh round pick that makes the team. And here you got Antoine green that is, is in chase Lucas's spot last year. Cause I think chase Lucas was part of that trade up when we got, I think we traded, we traded in the middle of the draft and we got him, as as some compensation uh for that trade if 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 I remember correctly. So I mean while it's sad to see any player, this is everybody said it says it. Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, Danny all said the same thing. This is the worst time of the year. This is worse than cleaning out your lockers because it is people that you're gonna have to send packing that you know you don't really want to, but you you're doing it for the betterment of the team. And this just tells you, like I said earlier, how much better our secondary has become because we are cutting a guy who made the team last year. So Chase Lucas being waived, it is an opportunity. He can be on the practice squad, but again, he has to clear waivers. And then if the Lions decide to put him back on the practice squad, now there are only 16 spots, 21 of the people that were on the Detroit lions will not be on the Detroit lions in, in any way, 53 man roster or practice squad. So, Chase Lucas, man, could be the first Brad Holmes draft pick not to be on the Detroit Lions in some way or another. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, not the news I thought we were going to get tonight, but I'm glad I left my computer on. Anyway, again, thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Please consider coming to the watch party on the 17th. Tickets are $15. I think we got enough, enough room for 50. All right, so go ahead and get your ticket. I think we've sold about 30 plus as of right now. I will know more this week. And don't forget about your uh, free JMO shirt. Got you, got him to lower the price by 10 bucks, promo code. And now you can, you can save essentially $15 off of the original price of the shirt. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and, and each other. And as always, go Lions. It's kind of been a long day.